first state chapter of the National Youth Council of Nigeria, NYCN, has called on the state governor, Professor Chukuma Soludo, to partner youth of the state in the fight against insecurity. There have been several cases of insecurity in the state within one week, including the burning of local government secretaries and the police facilities across the state. Reacting to one of the attacks, Governor Soludo had revealed that police investigations shows the suspects arrested and those involved in the attacks were from outside the state. Mrs. Ijoma, a senior member of the Anambra chapter of NYCN and chairperson of the group's election debate, said there is no better way to fight those causing fear in the state than to partner the youths. Speaking to journalists during a debate exercise organized for candidates of various positions to talk about their reason for aspiring to lead in the state. Mrs. Ijoma said, youths in the state have become enlightened and ready to partner with the government against those causing insecurity in the state. Our governor has told us that from arrests made so far, those involved are not even from Anambra State. And our youths are now enlightened and not willing to join anyone who would destabilize peace and economy of the state. You can see the chairman, the, the chairmanship candidates of the state chapter of NYCN. And if you listen to all of them, top on the agenda is how to galvanize the youth to fight the insecurity in the state. And I think the governor should seek this opportunity to partner the youth. In each community, youth recently rounded up some strange element suspected to be part of those terrorizing the state and handed them over to the police. That is what the youth can do if our governor partners with them. Okay, this is the only solution to this madness. Security is local. So is politics. If the governor will partner with the youths in every community in Anambra State, they will fight or they will fish out those criminal elements that are real enemies of IPO and Mazin Namdekano and the development of Anambra State. They are full and terrorists. No Igbo man can put hands to destroy Anambra because all of all of them here in Onitsha and Aba and other Igbo land do businesses. So Ludo must die by putting the finger that put him on power. Being Biafra, no youth will fight for you. The Fulani slave by telling IPOP to cancel Monday sit at home. So Ludo, no peace for you, just resign. Hmm. Mr. Okon, you must be very stupid with this your senseless comment. Okay, guys, these are comments, you know, by Nigerians. These are reactions by Nigerians. As you can see, the comments, you know, is getting tougher here. Another decent that's another deceit that is construct to take some peanuts from Mr. Soludo. Mazi Soludo knew the elementary of the agitation, but chose to politicize it. Mr. Governor, go to work and not grammar. Yes, yeah, so that will be a good idea for the Anambra State Governor, Professor Soludo, to partner with Anambra Youth in fighting insecurity in the state. That is true talk. Which shoots are you advising him to use and fight those beasts? Okay, that should be that should be your sons and your daughters that you are talking about. Soludo, you are too quick to your decision. Which my result is to fall and remind you fail and remind you your campaign premises. Soludo should take it easy with himself. I don't want Soludo to be thinking about terrorists of ban or bandits right now. He should focus on the campaign promises. 
while looking for a means of dialoguing with the bandit, but I think he should exclude IPOP from this ordeal, as we know that IPOP is a peaceful organization. Hmm. Okay, someone said, Simeon Ekpa, or is it Ekpa, should be repatriated. He has become a terror to Ndipo. Hmm. So, guys, these are some reactions by Nigerians. The Anambra State Chapter of the National Youth Council of Nigeria, NYCN, has called on the state governor, Professor Chukuma Soludo, to partner youths of the state in the fight against insecurity. There has been several cases of insecurity in the state within one week, including the burning of local government secretariat and police facilities across the state. Reacting to one of the attacks, Governor Soludo had reviewed that police investigations showed the suspects arrested and those involved in the attacks were from outside the state. Mr. Mrs. Ijoma, a, a senior member of the Anambra chapter of NYCN and chairperson of the group's election debate, said there is no better way to fight those causing fear in the state than to partner the youths. Speaking to journalists during a debate exercise organized for candidates of various positions to talk about their reason for aspiring to lead in the state, Mrs. Joma said, youth, is the youth in the state have become enlightened and ready to partner with the government against those causing insecurity in the state. She said our governor has told us that from arrest made so far, those involved are not even from Imo State, and our youth are now enlightened and not willing to join anyone who will destabilize the peace and the economy of the state. So guys, what's your take concerning this news? Kindly share your thoughts with us below the comment section. Thank you very much for always having you here. Bye for now.